Hey guys, this is an updated video to get unreleased and OG skins on Fortnite with Atomic Bot. And I'm making this video because some people have been saying that the bot is not working, so I've made some updates and hopefully by watching this video all the way through, you'll know how to use the bot correctly and not encounter any errors while using the bot. So enjoy the video. So the first step to getting this lobby bot is make sure you create a second account or an alt account and log into that account on Epic Games on the browser on whatever device you're using. So this can be on either a phone, computer, laptop, pretty much anything that has Discord and can run the internet. Now once you've created that account, make sure to join the Discord server, Excellent Bros Official, and this link will be in the description. So once you have joined this Discord server, just head down to this channel right here and then it's we call it create atomic and then just type in a exclamation point start and this will create your atomic bot so just wait about five seconds and you'll get a dm and once you get that dm just click on it and then you want to go down here and you want to click on the login button and what this is going to do is it's just going to take you to epicgames.com so just on this page make sure you confirm that you're logged in to the correct account because if you're logged into your main account it's going to be a little bit more complicated for you so just make sure you're logged into a second account on here and then you head back over to discord and then click on this button right here the click here button and this will take you to this page so now you just want to copy the entire thing that's on this page this entire thing right here just copy that and then head back over to discord and then just paste that in and then your bot will be created for you so you see that you have a lollibot panel now so this is your lollibot panel and on this page, you can do all the commands and it'll tell you how long you have your bot for. So you'll have the bot for an entire hour and then you can always restart it if you want after that. So the first step that you wanna do is make sure that you send a friend request to this exact Fortnite username. So log on to Fortnite on whatever device you're gonna use. It does not have to be on the same device that Discord's running on. And just head over here. So just type in the Lollibot's name in here, and again you can do this on a console, PC, mobile, or any device that can run Fortnite. And then just add the friend, just like I did, and then you have to head back over to Discord, and it'll do a pop-up like this. So it'll say friend request, should I accept it? Just click on the check mark, and then that will accept the friend request for you. So the first thing that I recommend doing is obviously inviting the bot to your party, otherwise you can't really see what it does. So just click on the bot and then click on invite to party and then head back over to Discord and then just click on the check mark and then you can join the party and it'll join your party. So you'll see we got the bot in the party now. And now what I recommend doing is just clicking on it, going to manage, making a party leader and then hang back over here and then typing in a exclamation point hide. And then this will just hide everybody in the party that is not the bot and you will have only the bot in the party and it'll look like you are actually controlling the bot. So I won't be showing all of the commands but I will show you guys a few and you guys can do all these commands, all the explanations are right here in case you need them. So I'll just be showing you guys some basic commands like the skin command, emote command, and a few others. So you'll see that you have the default skin like this, the default skin is this skin. So if you want to change the skin, you can make it something else like the Renegade Raider. So just type in A skin and then Renegade Raider. Again, pretty self-explanatory if you use Lollibots before. And then once you have this Renegade Raider, you'll have it in your lobby and you can do emotes with it or whatever you want. So the next command is the style command. So just type in A exclamation point style and then you just want to type in the name of the skin that you want to change the style for. So just type in Spider-Man if you want that. And then it will do a pop-up and it'll give you all of the options for the Spider-Man skin. So there should be six options for the Spider-Man skin specifically. So just type in one of the numbers that corresponds with this outfit and you can choose any of the outfits for Spider-Man. So if we want to get the Future Foundation suit, just type in three. And then that'll get you the Future Foundation suit. And if you check back in Fortnite, you'll have that specific style for the skin. Now if you want to take off the backpack, like you can see right here, you can see the backpack. If you want to take that off, just do exclamation point backpack and then type none. Do A exclamation point backpack and then type in none and then that will take off the backpack just like that. And then you can also do emotes like, let's do the Billy Bounce emote and then that will do the Billy Bounce emote right here. And then finally if you want to change the level up here you can do a exclamation point level and then just type in something like 50 
and then you'll see that the level over here will be changed to 50. And then there's a bunch of other commands that you guys can try on your own, but I won't be showing the video, just to make the video a bit shorter. So if you go through the party commands, there's the ready command, which is pretty self-explanatory. The copy command will copy the cosmetics of another person in your party. You can promote other people in your party. You can say messages in the chat, in the party chat. And then you can change the privacy of your party. You make the bot sit in or sit out. You can friend another user. You can leave the party. And you can also remove epic friends. You can kick users from your party. You can invite them, join, change the playlist, and change the platform. Now finally, make sure you guys do a exclamation point stop when you're done using the bot. And this will prevent you from getting any types of errors that people have been encountering. And once it says bot stopped, you've done everything correctly. And you should be good to go to start a new bot whenever you want to start one again. So make sure you use a stop, a exclamation point stop, when you want to stop the bot because this will prevent you from getting a ton of errors so thank you guys for watching the video if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe leave a like share this with friends and i'll see you guys in the next one